Hey guys, welcome back to Econ Class. Today we're gonna to be going over the practice worksheet from the last video, the production possibility frontier and calculating opportunity cost. So you can find a link to this worksheet in the description below. In case you didn't watch the previous video and you really don't know what you're doing here, I would suggest checking that one out. We go over the step-by-step -step process in calculating opportunity cost, whether it's an input problem, whether it's an output problem, and explain what those actually are. All right, so the first section, we're looking at production data or output examples right here. So when it comes to output questions, the easiest way to remember is what you sacrifice divided by what you produce. So the table below gives us a number of tasks, changing a car's oil and then changing a car's brakes within a one hour period. Complete the tables by filling in the opportunity cost of each of the stated tasks. So the first thing we're gonna do is plot these production possibility frontiers, okay? So we get the information, um, they're working at a mechanic shop. We got oil changes and brake changes. Jacob and Patrick. Jacob can do five oil changes per hour and two brake changes per hour. So we can throw that right up on a production possibility frontier. We got Jacob's constant opportunity cost curve right there. Now we have Patrick. He can do four oil changes and one brake change per hour. So we have his curve there. We've been able to plot them. Now when they give you the actual output, when they give you the production data, it's really easy to plot these. It's a little more difficult when they're giving you the resources to produce um, data. So now what we need to do next is get the opportunity cost. Now in order to do this, sacrifice divided by what you produce. So we are going to, in this case, take, we wanna find the opportunity cost of an oil change. So we s divide the two brake changes divided by the five oil changes, what we're sacrificing by, divided by what we're producing, and we get two fifths of a brake change. That is the opportunity cost of one oil change. In the time it takes me to do one oil change, I could have done two fifths of a brake change. Now inversely, the opportunity cost of one brake change is gonna be two and a half oil changes. Five divided by two, what we sacrifice, the five oil changes divided by the two brake changes. In order to get the opportunity cost of a brake change, what we sacrifice divided by what we produce. So we got that. Now, to get the opportunity cost for Patrick, we gotta do the same thing. To get an opportunity cost from an oil change, we need to do the one brake change you could do in that time divided by the four oil changes. What we sacrifice divided by what we produce. And it comes out to be one quarter of a brake change. Now, the opportunity cost of a brake change is gonna be four divided by one. The what we sacrifice divided by what we produce ends up being four oil changes. So in the time it takes him to change one brake pads, it, he can do four oil changes. So this is how you handle an output question or a when they give you the hourly production, the weekly production, the daily production, whatever it might be. All right, now next is the resources to produce questions or the input questions referred to as. Now, these could be you know hours to produce, minutes to produce, uh, units of labor, units of uh, resources, whatever it might be. It's saying what you need to produce one unit usually, but make sure you're paying attention to what the labels actually tell you. In this case, it's time to produce one unit, one oil change, or one brake change. So Celeste can do an oil change in 10 minutes, she can do a brake change in 30 minutes. Anna can do an oil change in 15 minutes, a brake change in 20 minutes. So to graph these, to put the production possibility frontier out there, we need to figure out what the actual output is, what the production is in that given hour. So in order to do this, we take our one hour time, 60 minutes, we divide it by the 10 minute oil change and we come up with six oil changes. So we can get six oil changes per hour. And with brake changes is 30 minutes, so it's 60 divided by 30, two brake changes per hour. So in one hour of time, we can do six oil changes or two brake changes. And we can throw that up on the frontier right there. Now Anna, we can do uh, four oil changes per hour, 60 divided by 15, or 60 divided by 20 for the brake changes, three, three brake changes per hour. So we can throw this one up there. Now we've got those plotted. Now the real question comes with the opportunity cost. Now remember, this is an input question or an input data. It's telling us how much we need to produce one unit. So it flip flops the formula. Instead of sacrifice to produce, now it is what we produce divided by what we sacrifice. So in order to get the opportunity cost for one oil change, we have to divide the 10 minute oil change divided by the 30 minutes of brake change and it comes up to one third of a brake change. In the time it takes to change oil, 10 minutes, we could only do one third of a brake change. Now inversely, in the time it takes us to do one brake change, we could do three oil changes. 
All right, so it's what you produce divided by what you sacrifice. Now on to Anna, uh, in the 15 minutes it takes her to do one oil change, she could do three quarters of a brake change. And inversely, 20 divided by 15, in the time it takes her to do one brake change, 20 minutes, she could do one and one third oil changes. All right, so that gives you the opportunity cost. So hopefully you understand that. If not, take a look back at this video one more time, check your answers. All right, guys, make sure you're checking out my other practice videos. I've got stuff on all different topics in micro and soon to be macro as well. So once again, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.